Hey campers, your camp director, Macy here. Um, hey, I was just, we've been setting up camp. Some of you are already here, I know. Um, putting up a bunch of security cameras uh, all over because we update those every year. Hey April, we update those every year so that um, we can ensure safety at camp, ensure that um, all of the campers are following the rules, ensure that there's no shenanigans, no funny business, no troublemakers, you know the, the, the thing. Um, and I was about to head back to the director palace, which is way over there. Um, gorgeous gals cabin, smitten kittens, unicorn lovers, and uh, lovely ladies are in that direction too. So have you noticed what cabin you're in yet? Have you posted that in the group? Have you shared in the group who you are, where you're from, maybe some pictures of your pets because you know pets are welcome at camp. I hope you know that. Anyway, so I'm putting up these security cameras and I'm like, okay, I keep getting a lot of looks from campers who are just walking around like, what, you don't trust me? What's going on? Well, here's the thing. This is really, camp is about creating that space, that different space within you so that you have that safety and security. We can walk and talk at the same time. Uh, this is the this is the main program lodge, by the way. Um, up there is the porch from the man yurt. They have this like porch. Anyway, um, so developing that safety and security within you is really how you then can receive a love relationship. So part of the security system that we put together at camp are certainly a lot of different cameras so that you can start watching how you function and notice what you can do to actually remind yourself that of who you are, the power that you be because you're all you know whether you feel it or not you have the capacity to be a really powerful woman in relationship and over time what tends to happen is that we just kind of experience some erosion around um hopefully you're not going to see any naked guys behind us because there's that's where the 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 workers hang out um or maybe I don't know. <laughs> anyway um so we at camp we just begin to develop these practices and tools to remind ourselves of how powerful we be and each day at camp you're going to get a new practice a new little mini class that you know i'll share in the group really easy to consume and also at opening ceremony on sunday so hopefully you have that on your calendar sunday at 10 a.m mountain time I'll go through all of the things, but I just wanted to let you know, if you see us going around, cause we were just testing them too. And they, um, really interesting how these cameras are. So like, you know, when they're on, Ooh, there's one. Oh, that was the love laser beams. The love laser beams are on. That's good. We've been, ha we had those on for a while. Um, and then there's just like, Ooh, oh yeah, there's a camera trying to focus in. So you kind of, end up at camp focusing in on okay well where am i putting my attention am i putting attention on things not working things not you know these stories about myself or am i putting my attention like turning to you know putting that camera on the future where it's like okay well what would i like to create and love camp is going to give you the keys to playing into love and the core practices that a lot of things that I teach in my bigger program called Super Loved, where I really help people get to those um, core things that have been holding them back and have a smart, fun strategy for love. So anyway, security at camp uh, is one of the things that we are very proud of because when you start noticing where you're kind of abandoning yourself or rejecting yourselves in ways and you can name that then guess what you don't have to do it anymore you don't so 
I'm excited to meet you. I'm excited to um, play in this week. Please remember that the other benefit of Love Camp is that during this time of year, it can be really hard for a lot of people. This can be a safe, amazing, playful distraction during a time that often can be emotionally triggering. So if you actually have friends who are struggling, invite them to camp. Invite them over. We'll, we have plenty of rooms in some of the other cabins. Like they can come in, pick a bunk, start, join us for opening ceremony on Sunday, and we'll have a blast. So I can't wait to share with you more. So, you know, notice what the, like the focus is, right? Oh my gosh, look at that. And what is this one? <laughs> There's that one. It's like, oh yeah, we'll take some pictures. Sometimes we catch some interesting things on the cameras. So, woo! oh boy. Um, so, you know, oh, snapping shots there. All right. Anyway, back to camp. Um, so anyway, we are going to have a blast and, um, what can be possible when you get past those kind of default mechanisms that ha you've been using to try to control your life, control your relationship space that, you know, aren't actually necessarily effective or helpful. This is going to give you new ways of being that actually create more ease in your love life. So every day we get to play with this. Every day we get to do a daily practice. Every day we get to be together and it's really fun. So um, tell me what you, if you could have anything out of love camp, tell me what it would be. I'd love to hear. Will you post in the comments? Let me know and we'll see you soon. Bye.